How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to see which is the right light for you between the Amaron 100X versus the 200X. So let's jump right into it. It's been a while since I made a video about my studio lights that I did whenever I gave you a little bit of a tour of my home studio. So I wanted to kind of showcase between both of these lights to see how they pair up against each other and just see which one would be the best one for you. Between both of these lights, you have different specs and pricing. So hopefully this in-depth kind of review between both of them will help you out to decide if you want to go with the 100X versus the 200X. But before we move on to more doing the showcasing of the examples, I kind of want to run down a little bit on minor specs differences between both these lights and the pricing that way you kind of have that up front in case you wanted to know a little bit more about that so that it can help you out with your decision. The Ameren 100X is priced currently about $250 at B&H. Sometimes they have it on sale. I know I got mine about like $212 when it was on sale. So that's something to consider when it comes down to the 100X. It's a 100 watts by color light, which you can go from zero to 100% intensity when it comes down to the intensity of the light, how it shines on you. And also the temperature, obviously you can change it. So you can go either cooler or warmer. And it also has a Bowens mount, which both of the lights have it just so you know about that as well. Now with the 200X it has pretty much all the same specs the only difference is going to be that it's 200 watts for when it comes out to the power of the light so that's the main difference and then the pricing of that comes out to 350 and sometimes you can get it on sale I got I know I got mine I think about 295 so do with that what you will, but that's pretty much just the boring side of this. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some examples and see if it's the right light for you to go with the 100X versus the 200X. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just have both of the lights kind of start from zero, make its way all the way to 100 intensity. First with one light, then with the other one, and then you know try to see just the difference, if anything, on the intensity of the lights, because I know having different wattage can add a different intensity from the you know how, the percentage that you use so we're going to test that out and see if we can see a major difference between both of them so right now i just kind of did it when it was like from just dark to like 100 didn't change any of my settings for each of different of the percentage of intensity but now i'm going to properly expose for each one to see how well they you know compare to each other that way you can also see with the proper exposure to see how it would look Now you've seen the video part of it we're going to take also a couple photos just with a different increasement of the percentage for each light and just see the difference if like the for the settings why so i can put it on there so you can see what iso i had to do and the aperture and i'm going to keep the aperture and the shutter speed the same i think i'm just going to keep it either at 125th or 250 i'm going to kind of just see for the first one and then try to keep everything the same so that it just makes sense Do I look at the camera? Oh, okay, not, not documentary style. Okay, sweet. Um, so we're gonna talk about the final thoughts when it comes down to these two lights, the Amaron 100X versus the 200X. For me, there's a very noticeable difference in the amount of you know power between each of these lights. Can you get by with just a 100X? Yes, you can. 
but the power of the 200X, even when I was looking at, you know, the settings when it came down to the ISO that it had to be at, and then also like how much intensity it could go to, the 200X just seems to have a little bit nicer range for me because obviously you can dim these lights from zero to 100, but once you get to the 100 mark, when it comes down to the 200X, you can get that more, you know, powerful lighting if you are to need it, but you can also always lower it. Rather than the 100X, you can only get to that 100% at the maximum capacity that the 100 wattage can give you, which is still not enough sometimes with depending on the lighting that you're trying to do. Now, why did I get both of these lights? Well, because I like to have the 200X when it comes down to more lighting situations of intensity, and then the other one to be a little bit of the softer kind of just, you know, filler light or whatever, just like how I'm currently doing. I have the uh, 200X right here at 100%, and then I have the other one about like 10%, maybe 15%, just because I felt like it, it could just add a little bit of more of that filler light without having to have too much intensity. But also in case, uh, you know, I just needed a second light, I wanted to, you know, not break the bank either having to overspend for you know the 200x and get two of them i didn't really need it for that but if i were only to pick one i did start with a 200x first and then i added the 100x because it was on sale on bnh and sometimes you can find them on amazon as well but any of the lighting that i have i'll put them down below in the description with all the links of all my gear if you ever to look, look to choose into seeing what gear i use i always leave it in the description so that way you can you know Go check it out and know which one is exactly the ones that I use personally. But with that said, I think the more bang for your buck will probably be the 200X because you have more of that versatility with the higher, I guess, range of, you know, light intensity when it comes down from zero to 100 rather than just, you know, the 100 wattage of the 100X. So that's just my input. That's just my thought personally. It all depends on what your needs are and your budget, but I just want to give you a small kind of little kind of in-depth comparison of both when it came down to the things that I thought mattered the most, the intensity of zero, like basically to a hundred going into the increments of 20. The reason why I did the twenties, because when you click the button, it gives you zero, 20, you know, and so on and so forth. And then also, you know, just seeing how, you know, good and filling each light will be for the scenarios that I would want, whether it's like portraits or just videos out here. That's one of the reasons why I just want to go with, you know, testing out how the intensity worked out because that's the main thing these lights are for. The bicolor thing with the temperature, well, that's already a given. I mean, if I want to make it warmer, I can. If I want to make it cooler, I can. That's something that is just self-explanatory, but the difference in intensity is what I think matters the most when it comes down to these lights. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.